Good morning. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make my um, Belgian waffles uh, with my new uh, all clad classic round waffle maker. And I've been wanting a waffle maker for quite some time, but I didn't want to go ahead and get one that wasn't, um, wasn't a quality iron. So I waited for Christmas this year and uh, I actually received one as a gift. And so we're going to be talking about again the all clad classic round waffle maker. And um, new on Amazon, they uh, run for about uh, $129. So uh, again, uh, we're going to go ahead and make some waffles today. So probably um, with making waffles, uh, probably the most important thing is the uh, waffle mix that you choose. And uh, what I like is the uh, Golden Malted Original. And in my opinion, uh, this is the, uh, the best waffle mix out there. And you can either go to the Golden Malted uh, website or you can simply just buy it off Amazon uh, in one, uh, two, or as many bags as you want. So uh, I think the key to a good waffles is to start with good ingredients. So. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the uh, basically how uh, the all clad uh, uh, manual tells you how to make waffles. So the first thing you want to do is grab some cooking oil and I'm going to use some Crisco uh, pure vegetable oil and I am going to apply a little bit of that to a paper towel and then just slightly just wipe it over the top of the, uh, the waffle iron itself. And I'm going to do that again, and I'm going to apply it over the top. And this way, it keeps the waffle from adhering to the surface. Now, remember, this is a non-stick surface, but it still tells you to put a little bit of uh, cooking oil over the, uh, the plates so the waffle um, will just come off a lot easier. So I'm going to put that to the side. And also... What I prepared before uh, making this video, uh, I also have a couple other things. Of course, my golden malted mix. I have some syrup. I pre-melted some butter. So when the waffles complete, I'll just pour it over the top in that little Pyrex. I have a small ladle that will allow me to ladle out uh, the, uh, the mix that I've also pre-done. And I've just made some of my waffle mix here in a bowl and again it's just the golden malted there's an egg uh, five ounces of water and two tablespoons of butter and of course one cup of mix and that is the uh, recommended uh, ingredient so so the go uh, the all clad recommends that you ladle out the uh, uh, waffle mix so you can actually control and not over overfill the uh, the iron itself and then I have some handy, uh, easy grab uh, waffle tongs once the waffle is ready and I can pull it out of the iron to uh, not burn my fingers. And also if I'm cooking uh, breakfast for other people, I won't have to touch their waffles. So first of all, what we want to do, let's go back to the iron, is we need to go ahead and plug it in. And on my uh, left side here, you'll see a little LED light. And when I plug it in, that LED light is going to turn red. So let me go ahead and just walk around the side here and plug in my waffle iron. Also, when you plug it in, you want to make sure that the browning level is in the off position. So when you plug it in, it's going to kind of go ahead and set up the waffle iron. Okay, now the waffle iron's ready. My uh, red LED light has turned on and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it to the browning level that I like and I like number three so um, I'm set on number three and now we need to wait for the iron to go ahead and warm up now just to let you know uh, this is a very good quality waffle iron and it's uh, it looks like a classic old style um, it's stainless steel and it also has locking mechanisms on the side here 
So when you're done making your waffles and put it away, you can lift up the whole iron. But when you're cooking, make sure you do not have the locking mechanisms in place because once the waffle iron gets hot, um, that whole stainless area, especially these little locking um, levers, get extremely hot and it will blister you. The only thing on here that doesn't get hot is the handle itself. You can touch that at any time. Anything else on the waffle iron, uh, you should not touch once it's warmed up because you will definitely get a serious burn. So when we are um, uh, done preheating, on the other side of the waffle iron, there's a green LED. And as soon as it reaches temperature, um, the green LED will turn on and then you'll hear another beep. So right now, uh, let's go ahead and just wait for uh, the preheating of the waffle iron. Okay, now the waffle iron is all preheated and we are going to go ahead and make our waffle. So I'm going to lift up my lid and as you can see now over here on my right side I have a green LED which tells me my waffle iron is up to temperature and it also beeped uh, three times so if I'm not looking right at it I can hear that it's ready to cook. So let me go ahead and uh, grab my uh, golden malt waffle batter mix and I'm going to go ahead and ladle uh, two large scoops of waffle batter in my iron here. We're just going to put it on in kind of a little bit of a circular motion in the center and then I'm going to go ahead and add some to the outside also. There we go. Try to keep it a little bit in the middle so it has a little bit of place to go when it uh, starts to expand. All right, now we're simply going to go ahead and just close the lid. And we're not going to lock it down or anything. We're just going to let the weight of the lid uh, go ahead and actually cook. Um, or put the pressure on the waffle itself. So it takes about according to the uh, uh, the uh, instruction manual and also I found too by cooking previously on it, it takes about three to five minutes to go ahead and actually uh, cook the waffle. And then um, once the waffle uh, is actually cooked uh, you will see over here on the right that green LED um, it'll turn on and off during the cooking process while it's maintaining the right uh, browning temperature. But then once it's also done cooking, uh, you'll hear three uh, audio beeps again. So it'll let you know that your waffle's done. So a couple other things, you know, as far as caring for it. Of course, um, this is a stainless top and you only want to go ahead and use a, like a stainless uh, cleaning material or uh, solution on it. Um, or you can use like a glass cleaner, but you don't want to use anything harsh like a oven cleaner or a serious detergent that will actually damage the, the waffle maker itself. So they just recommend like a stainless cleaner or like a glass cleaner um, uh, to clean the unit. Also, um, if you go ahead and let's say something does uh, stick to the plates, they recommend using a plastic brush, not a wire brush, but a plastic brush so you can just kind of uh, brush off the crumbs and it will not damage or harm any of the plates. Also, what I noticed, and it does say in the manual too, that um, you'll see steam coming out the top. We can see the steam coming out the top over here and they said that is normal during the cooking process. So it's not like the iron's on fire or too hot. It's just uh, the, uh, the water um, evaporating uh, while the irons are are touching the batter mix. So, so it looks like we've got um, a pretty good process going on here. Probably won't take too much longer uh, to complete cooking our uh, waffle itself. So I'm going to go ahead and get a couple things. I'm going to get my butter that I'm going to put on top, uh, my uh, syrup, and then of course my uh, plate, and my easy grab uh, waffle tongs. So. Uh, these right here, if you uh, look on Amazon 
and find the golden malt um, uh, batter mix, waffle batter mix, usually uh, it'll say that other people uh, purchase these with the batter mix, and they're pretty handy. Like I said, um, they uh, keep you from burning your fingers, and also, if you're making waffles for other people, they don't want you to touch their hot waffle with your fingers, and so this right here is just adds a little bit of, uh, you know, just cleanliness to the food pre preparation process. So, um, I can see that our waffle is uh, it's still steaming a little bit, which is just perfectly fine. Okay, and then we just heard the uh, three audible beeps. So let me open it up, and ah, perfect. A perfect crispy waffle. So let me go ahead and get my tongs here. No sticking at all. And I'm going to put it on my plate. Perfect waffle. Perfect waffle. Now I'm simply going to take my butter. And just kind of pour it over the waffle. I like melted butter because it gets in all the nooks and crannies. And then now that I put my butter on, now I'm just going to add a little bit of waffle syrup. And it's a perfect single size waffle right here. And they do make these all clads in two or four square. I wanted the round Belgian waffle maker just for single service. Okay. And that is it. So um, now you know how to make uh, uh, Belgian uh, round waffles with the all-clad uh, classic round Belgian waffle maker. Have a good day.